Hi, it's Ashley from AB Sound Advice. Today we are doing a product review on the Quadril Chromium Style 20 bookshelf speakers. These are probably be the smallest bookshelves I've ever reviewed. And uh, <laughs> let's just first off do what we normally do. Let's just go through some of the numbers. Um, in this part of the world, they're about $900 roughly for a pair of these. And uh, that's, when you think about it, this is a, for, for $900, this is a pretty cool little speaker. But as I said, it is tiny. It barely sits on the top of these stands. So we'll just go through some of the specs on it. It is a two-way type. Um, it's a principal closed enclosure and we've got a power rating of 60 to 90 watts, frequency response of 51 to 46,000 HZ. We've got a crossover frequency of 3.400 HZ and we have an efficiency of 85 dB, impedance of 4 ohm. We have got a 19 millimeter um, ALU, ALU dome tweeter. We've got a 115 millimeter um, titanium, titanium, sorry, uh, PP driver, and these come in at what do we got here? Height 20 uh, cm's by 13.3 cm's by 16.9 cm's, and weigh in at 2.4 kg. And they come in a black or a white. And I was a little concerned that when I put the cables on, let's get up and have a look. <laughs> I was a little concerned when I put the cables in that it might pull them off the stands but they're actually quite they're very stable on the top of there and again a fantastic finish we've got a piano finish here and as i said quadril is a german brand that's been around for a very long time you can see it's also got these two little screws you can take out and put onto brackets so they're designed to go into locations where you don't have any room and complemented with a subwoofer these would be sensational and remembering for 900 dollars um, it's a lot of speaker. I mean, really, um, there really wouldn't be much in the around at nine hundred dollars that'd be coming anywhere near these guys. So <laughs> they really are fantastic. And as I said, you can see there they just barely sit on the top of the stands. You can see just a, even the corner there. They just slightly slide, just not quite there. But as I said, this type of speaker is more than likely going to be on a shelf or a smaller stand than this. But even so. I've treated them with the same respect that I do with all the products that we run. Um, they really <laughs> surprise me for $900. They really are a lot of speaker. And of course, um, you're not going to hear me say that they've got a lot of bass. I mean, it's really just a uh, just slightly oversized four-inch driver sitting in that. And the tweeter, um, I mean, as you know, I... At this level, I sort of categorize things. I don't categorize 1 to 5 or 1 to 10, but I also, as you know, I talk about hi-fi, stereo, and audio file. Um, this is definitely a hi-fi speaker, and I don't know about audio file. It, it's possibly just knocking on the door of that. Um, would I be happy with these? Um, as a little small pair of speakers um, in a little area where I had no space and had a little MIDI system or something running them, um, well and truly they're a great little speaker. I'd probably be needing to complement them with a little subwoofer of some form. But other than that, for its uh, top end, obviously it's it's quite detailed. It's certainly not audio file de detailed, but I mean, um, it's certainly um, way above your average run-of-the-mill speakers. There's a lot of speakers in this price point, so at the $900 mark, it'll give most things, I think, a run for its money for its size. So if you're looking for a, a small speaker, and this is definitely small, um, I would probably be using them as a satellite, but they sound, or a surround sound speaker, if you weren't sure what satellite speaker was. Um, but in saying that, they're, they're still, as a standalone pair of speakers on a small little system, these are going to be fantastic. And again, it's a German brand. Quadra has been around for a very long time. And um, to be honest, the Chromium range um, is a very nice range of their speakers. And the Style 20s um, are truly a great little speaker. And for $900, you're not going to go wrong. You wouldn't be disappointed. It's, as I said, it's a very enjoyable speaker. And um, as I said, the top end, yes, it's not going to have 
the um, the attention to detail that you'd find in a two or a three thousand dollar speaker. But for nine hundred dollars, um, it's going to give a lot of speakers a run for their money in that area because they really are a sensational tiny little speaker for what they are doing for the enclosure they are in. <laughs> they really are a cool little speaker. So. I wouldn't go underestimating what they can do, but as I said, it's probably going to need a a little small powered sub if you're not happy with the bass. But if you're just wanting a nice little small speaker um, that you're not really planning to crank, then you are not going to be disappointed with these. They really are a very cool little speaker. So if you'd like to find out more information about these uh, Quadral Chromium Style 20s, you can go on to hifihq.co.nz for New Zealand or hifihq.com.au for Australia. And as I said, um, these are very versatile. They can be used, as I said, as a pair of little speakers in a, in a small room, or they can be used as surround sound speakers, um, or they can be used in high positions. I mean, if you don't want anything on the ground that can be put on brackets up in the corners and then you can complement that with a subwoofer as well so it may be a home where you've got uh, no opportunity to put speakers into walls or ceilings um, I wouldn't want to go any smaller than this in that circumstance so then I understand why they've done it um, some of those little tiny cubes that are half of this again it's very difficult so these are doing a great job for the size that they're at and again at the $900 mark you're certainly going to go wrong with these all right, guys, well, I hope you've enjoyed today's little short product review um, on the Quadril Chromium Style 20s. And again, thank you for supporting the channel, and I'll see you next time on AB Sound Advice.